All right, today we're doing Artificial Dream. This level is definitely harder than things like Penombrum Precipitance. It's still not that bad as an extreme, but probably wouldn't do it as a first extreme. This level, I'm not sure. This level has a lot of fun gameplay, but it also has some very janky parts. Like uh, the auto into the drop just bugs out sometimes and you die, which is not good. And then there's one part which I apparently is, oh, excuse me. You meant the red up there, which apparently is weird because of 2.2 and it didn't do that in 2.1. I don't know if that's true. I don't know for sure, but I think that's what it is. And that just makes it like 10 times harder. So that's going to be fun. Hopefully I don't die to that. I, I, what am I saying? I'm definitely going to die to that. But like the base gameplay of this level is fun. I could just see it getting very frustrating because I just die to things that don't work. Oh, you have to click the yellow orb like really early in order to avoid the auto bug. So that's why I died to clicking it too early because I didn't want to get bugged in the auto, but I didn't even get a chance because I clicked it too early. I do think this level has a very good chance of being fun though, as long as I just don't be bad. I don't think, I also don't think I'm going to fluke it as hard as I fluke precipitants because there are, as I said, there are hard things. I, I could fluke it from something like 50-ish because past 50, there's not too much bad. It's just the big, this level's first half is definitely a lot harder. So that's going to be probably a bit frustrating. I, I don't like that floor. That click is kind of like actually very hard. I don't know why it's so hard, but it is. It's just hard. I don't like that green orb either. That click is really just, like that blue orb to that green orb, which is a really hard thing. Like, why is this click so, like why is the end of the pre-drop so unnecessarily hard? I hate it. And I'm dead, I'm not dead. I'm dead to, why am I dead there? I just clicked too late, I think. Oh no, that's really stupid. I shouldn't have died there. Got to the drop though, at least. I thought I died to the auto because I didn't see myself land on the block, but I didn't die to the auto, so I'm not complaining. Oh, can I not be bad? That's not hard. It's a double click? That's not, I didn't double click. Why do I not double click? Who knows? I died to the wave? That's dumb. That's, at least I actually got properly into the drop that time. I shouldn't be dying to the wave though. The wave is not really that hard. Why'd I jump there? Holy crap, this pre-drop is so bad. Like, I didn't realize the pre-drop was this non-functional just, and just bad. Like you do, everything just has a way that it breaks and can be done and just doesn't work the way you practiced it. Like there, I always landed in practice. I didn't land there. I die, you die to the auto. Like, how did you make a pre-drop this bad, bro? Like I never jumped over that in practice, but now I only jump over it, and now I'm dead to the auto again. Like this pre-drop is horrid. It's like, why? And then that blue orb click after that dash orb's bad. This pre-drop is gonna make this level so much worse than it would have been otherwise. And I'm expecting to land, I don't land. And now I'm just dead in the spike. Like, can you make a functional pre-drop please, dude? Oh, yay, I died to something dumb. I, this transition's bad though, it's not hard though. Oh, I jumped too early. I passed the hard thing like that, that ball cube jewel, that just doesn't work half the time. I'm surprised I passed it. And then I choked. <laughs> like at least I did get proper progress. That's nice. This is always, a, this is a level that has been on my radar for a while. Like I've known of its, its existence and I'd probably do it one day, but I just always put it off. Cause I know this level's never appealed to me greatly. I've always just thought the gameplay just looks a bit weird and it is a bit weird. Like. But I knew I'd always do it. You know, it's one of it's a very old extreme. Like it's one of the oldest. Well, not one of the old. It's a, probably a bit too far out. Not old. Not quite old enough for it to be called one of the oldest. But I mean, to be fair, it also like by definition is because like it's uh, first ten percent probably. I don't know. Like there's nearly a thousand extremes now. I'm pretty sure this is one of the first hundred. Um, yeah, I mean, it's obvious, also obvious that it is this old, like looking at the standards of playtesting, like, uh, and, and the fact that the playtesting doesn't really exist is not well playtested because I, again, I thought I was about to die to the auto. Playtesting in this level doesn't exist. 
But I don't know, it's kind of fun. I'm glad I did decide to end up doing it and stop putting it off. There we go. That's one of the deaths to that thing. Like that jump is also just hard. Oh, I, I did one of the jumps really early, like so early. I'm surprised I didn't die back then. So I just panicked and also doing it too early made me probably a bit poorly aligned for that UFO. So I just died through being too high. That, like, honestly, once I get there, I'm properly far. I've passed most of the hard things. That is good progress. That's, oh, I forgot that this existed. This is awful because it's like, it's off screen for most of it. Like why? This transition into this ship is so bad. I forgot about it and then I died to it. I'm not surprised. too early that's so stupid like why why there that's one of the worst ways you could have died in the ending yeah i just clicked too early that's really bad i forgot what to do i just completely panicked that's so bad dude that's really bad oh well why don't start panicking dude Why there? What is that? There we go. Nice, didn't panic that time. And now I get some quests complete and I'm happy with that. Oh, thank you, nice. Oh, three, let's go, all three. That's pretty good. All right, so that took 1,677. Like a bit high for a level of this difficulty, but it is very liney and as I said, there's some what th strange things I had to adapt to, so I'm not too surprised. I think that's actually very fun. I really enjoyed that. Even the pre-drop, which yeah, I don't, I still don't think the pre-drop's that good. Even I, even then, I still actually di didn't mind it as much in the end as I did at the beginning. I think that's a very fun level. I really like that. Probably good if you're again above this skill level, going and doing it as a, you know as a break. Probably not good as a hardest or around there. I think this is a really fun level. I can understand why people wouldn't, but I enjoyed it. And with that done, I'm going to say thank you all for watching. Please hit the like and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.